Hi everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and it's a quick genealogy tip. On today's quick genealogy tip, I'm going to be talking about the features on genie.com for DNA. In my recent video talking about optimizing your DNA by uploading to different databases, I talked about how you can upload for free to genie.com. Now genie.com has a lot of features for their DNA that most people really don't know about and I think set them apart from some of the other things offered by other websites. To upload your DNA to genie.com, the first thing you need to do is go into your profile and go into the blue DNA tab. When you go in there, it's going to have a set of instructions on how to upload your DNA. Now, if you've done your DNA through MyHeritage, it's going to automatically connect it to genie.com. If you've done your DNA through Family Tree DNA, all you have to do is log into your Family Tree DNA kit and then connect that to the genie.com profile. And to connect the profiles, all you have to do is send an authorization that you do have permission to upload that DNA. Now, if you have 23andMe or Ancestry.com, you'll need to download the raw data files and then upload them to Genie.com. There's a link under the DNA tab that you can click that will give you instructions on how to do that. Now, once you've uploaded your DNA to Genie.com, there are a lot of different options to do. First thing I'm going to talk about is for anyone who uploads their mitochondrial or their Y-DNA information. Now, mitochondrial is your purely maternal line, and your Y-DNA is your purely paternal line. When it's added into the Genie.com system, if you have a tree built, it's going to propagate that DNA information to the proper ancestors. So if you have a certain Y haplogroup, then you can be guaranteed that as long as your purely paternal line is correct, all of those men will have the same haplogroup. And the same when you're talking about mitochondrial. For anyone who has a large tree with multiple cousins who have tested, you may run into a non-paternity event, basically a conflict where the DNA doesn't match up with what the paper trail has shown you. Now this could be for any sort of a reason from adoption to an illegitimate child to just incorrect genealogy work. Now if a conflict happens in the genie tree for either a Y haplogroup or a mitochondrial haplogroup, it will bring up a page where you can review that conflict. By reviewing the conflict, it gives you the ability to not only find where the paper trail isn't matching up with the DNA, but it also gives you the tools to figure out where that incorrect information lies. Now you may not be able to figure it out, but it can give you clues as to where it may lie. Now on the opposite side of incorrect information being weeded out through the use of DNA and the paper trail, the DNA tool on Genie also allows you to confirm information. So if you have a cousin who uploads DNA and it matches with what the paper trail shows, in the DNA tab, you'll see that person's name with a big green check mark, indicating that the relationship shown through the paper trail has been confirmed through DNA. Now, a lot of people will be uploading to Genie because they're looking for matches. When you're in your DNA tab, there will be separate sections for your mitochondrial, your Y, and your autosomal. Each category in which you've uploaded to, there will be a list of matches if there are matches. If there are no matches, then it will tell you that there are no matches currently. Once you click on the list of matches that there are, it will bring up all of the possible matches and give you some basic breakdowns that you see in other websites. Now on the matches page, on the right side of each match, there'll be four buttons. One of those buttons is the view match details. And if you click this, it'll take you to a page that gives you in-depth information on your match. Now one of the other options that you have for your matches is looking at an ancestor report. The ancestor report is a list of all of your ancestors next to a list of all of your matches ancestors. Now if there are any matches in that list they will show up as green so you can instantly see if there's already a match shown through the genie tree. Now this is extremely useful because you can look at the information on your ancestors directly next to their ancestors. So you can see the birth dates, death dates, the locations, the names, and see if you can find some sort of common thread that may allow you to further 
your ability to connect with these people. Thank you so much for checking out this quick genealogy tip. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can click right about here if you'd like to subscribe, and it is free to subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'm out.